In this video, we are going to learn about reflection symmetry. First, let's talk about this word symmetry. Now, symmetry is a property that a shape can have. And a shape has symmetry when you can perform some operation on it and have it look exactly the same as it did before so that you couldn't even tell that you did anything to it. Now, the type of operations that you might be performing on a shape or an object would be that you might flip it, rotate it, or slide it. In reflection symmetry, we're talking about whenever you flip a shape and it looks exactly the same. So for example, this diamond has reflection symmetry because if you were to flip it about this line, so that this triangle part on the right flipped over to the left and the triangle part on the left flipped over to the right, you wouldn't be able to tell that anything happened. It would look exactly the same. So because this line exists, and this is called the line of symmetry, this shape has reflection symmetry. So basically, a shape has reflection symmetry if there exists a line such that you can flip the shape across the line and have it look exactly the same. This diamond has reflection symmetry for another reason. There's another line of symmetry here, so you could flip the shape across that horizontal line and also have it look the same. One way to think about it is if you could imagine folding the shape up over the line and having it match up exactly, then it would have reflection symmetry. Next, we're going to look at these six shapes and think about whether each of them has reflection symmetry or not, and if so, how many lines of symmetry they have. For the square, this definitely has reflection symmetry because you could imagine folding it across this line and having each half of the square match up. There's also a line of symmetry right here and also along the diagonals. So the square has four lines of symmetry. The rectangle also has reflection symmetry because you could also fold it in half both along a vertical line or a horizontal line. The diagonals don't work in this case because if you imagine drawing them in and if you tried to fold it, this point right here would go over to here and that's not a point on the actual rectangle. So this is not a line of symmetry. The rectangle only has two lines of symmetry. The heart also has reflection symmetry because you could fold it down the middle vertically and have each half match up. Now the parallelogram is a tricky one. People often think that the diagonals must be lines of symmetry, but they actually aren't. You could test it by cutting out a parallelogram and trying to fold it in half and noticing that it will never match up exactly. So what I'm saying is people often think this would be a line of symmetry, but again, if you test it, this point right here when you fold it up will go over to its exact opposite spot over here, which is not on the parallelogram. And similarly, this point will end up over here, so it just doesn't match up exactly. So the parallelogram has no reflection symmetry and therefore no lines of symmetry. The regular hexagon does have reflection symmetry. You could fold it in half through any middle of the line segments that make up the regular hexagon or through any opposite vertices. So altogether, it has six lines of symmetry. And the scalene triangle, because all three sides are different lengths, can't really have reflection symmetry because there's no way to fold it in half so that it will look the same and everything will match up. So the scalene triangle does not have reflection symmetry. So again, the main idea is a shape has reflection symmetry if it has a line of symmetry across which you could flip the shape and have it look exactly the same. And the easiest way to think about testing for reflection symmetry is if you can imagine folding the shape in half and having each half match up. 